Hello everyone, Emily here. I hope everyone is safe and happy. Happy Memorial Day. Great day today. It was beautiful here in Des Moines, Iowa. And today I was going to start making a handbag that I saw Tina Thorv daughter Thorvaldar do on YouTube and I probably really butchered her name but I'm going to put it in the description down below so that you can go and take a look because I'm not going to do the tutorial like she did but I wanted to show you the things that I bought to make my bag and I'm going to show you my finished product maybe show you a little bit on the way what I chose to do for my pattern but she does it step by step and she's absolutely wonderful. I love her. So I wanted you to see that I picked out. Um, I went to Walmart because I did just wanted to get mine started. I didn't want to go to the thrift store like Tina, which I will do in the future. And I got a, a nine inch, 32 centimeter uh, zipper here. And uh, uh, they didn't have very many colors to choose from. So I got black. I'm going to use a 4.23 millimeter crochet hook. I went ahead and bought me a really cute uh, with some bling zipper pull so that I can put it on here. And then I do have some needles but I bought me some extra ones so they're very small up here so that they'll go through this side of the zipper when I start going through it. And then for my yarn, I probably bought a little too much, but I like this color, so I just bought a big package of it. It's the Peaches and Cream. It's very soft. I like this, this brand. And I'm going to make several of these for Christmas presents for all the young ladies in my family, my daughter-in-law, my daughter. Big spoiler for them since they probably watch my channel. And then um, I got this peaches and cream. This is a purple. So you do need two colors when you do the mosaic. And there is some purple in here. And this is a dark purple. So you kind of want to light and dark colors to contrast each other. So I thought these would look really good together. This is what I got. I'm going to get started. I'm going to, um, I'll probably come back and show you how I got this looking a little bit later but please look below look up Tina I hope you find uh, my bag really pretty and you'll check her out because she is absolutely fabulous so I've started sewing so I just wanted to show you how how I was doing um, I don't know, I'm a little worried about these stitches here. Not that they look bad, but they might be far apart and I'm hoping that it doesn't start to crinkle up. So I'm doing just like she said in the video. Um, I've got only a little bit of yarn because uh, like she said, it will start to, to wear when you're pulling it through and you don't want that happening and making the, the strands get all yucky. So I'm just... Um, making my little loop and going right in to where right in the middle where it came out I'm gonna take my yarn through and I'm going to come up just a little bit above put this yarn over my needle pull it through and that looks really nice I really like it so I'm just going to keep going all the way around um, she showed how to unzip it here when you get ready to go around you're just gonna come here and go over there make sure you zip it all the way up as you get when you get to the top so that you can close it off and then come down this way and then I'm gonna go across here 
and then I'm going to come all the way back down and connect it to here and then I can start uh, doing my crochet around to make my little purse and this uh, let's see what size is this this is a nine inch 23 centimeter zipper and I did get um, an all-purpose zipper and it's metal so I just wanted to make sure that I didn't get a little tiny plastic flimsy one because this will be my first one I'm sure it won't be perfect since it is my first one so it will probably be for me so I'm just going to continue to do this all the way around and I really hope you'll check out Tina because she is just such a delight to watch and I really like her so I'm just gonna keep on going isn't that pretty so it didn't take me that long to get done with my one side came down here went across and I'm down here at the end so I just thought I'd show you how I'm going to um, go across to my my zipper here so I'm going to go ahead and do one stitch here and I'm gonna want to close it and I'm gonna want to go straight across so I'm gonna go ahead and go into this one like I have been doing this whole time and I'm going to come up over here. See that? And I've been putting this yarn over my needle before I bring it through. So, there we go. Went right over it and closed it off. So, I'm going to do another stitch here. I'm going to go right in there. Right in where I came out of, if I can get a hold of that slippery bugger. And I'm just going to leave that little loop there. Decide where I'm going to come out at. Right here. through my little hole, my yarn, and it's almost like embroidering. You know, when you do your little flowers or you're doing a straight line, that's what this is, basically. It's just like embroidering. And this hasn't taken me very long at all to get as far as I have. So, I think it's working along pretty fast pretty I'm really happy with it except for when I lay it down I'm hoping that it it kind of straightens out a little bit once I get this this side done so but yeah pretty happy I'm gonna bring my yarn up to the front now because when I start crocheting around I'm gonna bury it so all these tails that I have loose because you can see I only use short strands I'm gonna bring them all the way in the front so that when I start crocheting, a sh crocheting around I can bury them okay so I brought all of my ends from the back to the front my front is my back is uh, not as pretty as my front <laughs> So, um, I have my yarn here. I'm going to start with uh, the peaches and cream, the variegated one. And uh, I tried, tied my slip knot. I'm going to put it on my hook here. My hook is the 4.25 <coughs> millimeter. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know where that sneeze came from. Probably one of my four cats. So I'm going to start down here at the corner, the very end, not the part with the zipper, but the, but the end of it, the end of the zipper. And I'm going to go into this, we're going to work only 
in the front loops as we're going around and we're not going to work I'm sorry I'm going to hold it like this so we're going to work in the back loop always in the back loop so I'm going to go into this my first stitch here the very end one and I'm going to pull it through pull it through pull it a little tight there I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to go into the same stitch and I'm do a single crochet okay so I'm going to go continue to go around and the first this first row we're just going to go into the back loop and do a single crochet and as I go around I'm going to bury these and I'll probably uh, put them under a few and then I will uh, cut them off as soon as I feel like they're secure these might be a little bit hard to go into I have a heck of a time with that one pull it through single crochet so when I went around and sewed I did the purple I did use this and um, I took another skein and took per and took the middle out and took some purple from that because I just wanted the top to be all one color so that's how I did that that's why it's all purple so I'm just gonna keep going all the way around it looks like uh, my stitches I made them really nice and tight which I was worried I wasn't but that's what I really wanted to do because I didn't want this to start curling and I'm just gonna bury these so it's not laying too bad I I really like it so you can see my progress is going pretty well it is um, a little wrinkly but you know what that's okay it's my first one and the more I do the better I'm gonna get at it and I'm still really happy with it I'm just it's so excited when something turns out because I'm not like Miss Perfect or um, still always learning and so I'm here at the end the part with the zipper and I'm just gonna my zipper and go ahead and go into the back loop here which it looks like it's this back there but it is not it is this one right here so I haven't been having too hard of a time going into these back loops but it has been a little bit of a challenge and I know you don't want to see me struggle now this one I'm just gonna try to go and to use my oh, there we go that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be so you can tell we're gonna be working down this is gonna be a nice size little handbag this will be nice to carry all my stuff in when I go shopping I probably am going to want to have a something to put over my wrist when I uh, use this so I'm gonna have to keep that in mind too but I'm just gonna keep going around burying my my ends here and uh, I think it looks like it's coming out pretty good Alrighty, well since I st uh, started this and I took a break and I watched Tina's video uh, a few more times just because I like to watch the videos quite a few times I forget things sometimes um, and I just like to watch it over and over so that I know um, what I'm doing anyway I have moved to my kitchen table so we are in my dining room now and I hope the lighting is better in here we are going to go into the last stitch single crochet and then I noticed when Tina does hers uh, 
she always skips the last color, but since I uh, went in differently, we are going to just go ahead and go into this, the back loop, and we're going to do a slip stitch and chain one, and then we're going to do a single crochet in the same stitch because we are going to go around in the back loops only and do a single crochet all the way around again. So when we come th when we come around and we come here, this will be our last stitch. We will not be going into this little one right here. We'll go into this one. So we're going to go ahead and do one single crochet in the back loops only all the way around. And I got to tell you, I already feel like it's moving a lot easier and faster and it is starting to curl up which is fine it will be curling the other way so i hope my colors change with this pretty regularly so i don't have the same color too too long <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do a single crochet all the way around and it is moving a lot better. Whoops. You know, as soon as I say that. There we go. I'm not making my stitches too tight. I'm not pulling them real tight, horribly tight. If you hear some buzzing in the background, I have a uh, window air conditioning. So you could might be hearing it thinking, oh my gosh, is she on a plane? Nope, it's my air conditioner. So, so go ahead, do your single crochet all the way around in the back loops only. I went all the way around, my colors did start changing. I'm here at the end and I'm going to go ahead and go into this stitch right here. And I'm going to skip this stitch and I'm going to go into this one right here and I'm going to change my color. We are not going to end. I am only using two colors so I won't be ending my colors. I'll just leave it attached until I get to the end. Here we go. So I'm going to leave me a nice tail. I'm going to take it through, slip stitch it through. Pull it. I'm going to pull this color here. So mine is more to the side. I know hers is right here, Tina's. Um, so maybe I will make mine go to there too because I want, if it doesn't add line up for the patchy tears, I would rather have it be on the side. So I'm going to make that my last stitch. I'm going to skip this one and go into this one. I'm going to go in the back loop. I'm going to grab my yarn, pull it through, and I'm going to chain one. Pull it. So you can see now that we'll go all the way around to here and we'll skip this stitch. So every time you come around, you'll always skip the stitch that's um, the color of the row and you'll always skip that one. That's the best way I know how to explain that. So I'm going to go into the same stitch here. I'm going to do a single crochet and I am going to do uh, four. So I already did one and here's two three and four and I am burying my tail as I go okay so I did four now we're gonna start our patchy tears uh, pattern so I'm gonna yarn over I'm gonna do a double crochet and we're gonna go down into this loop in the front okay right here 
So you're going to go down to the row below, grab it, and double crochet. All right. Now we don't want to increase, so make sure that you don't go into the loop right behind it. You're going to go into the next one. And now we're going to do five. It's two, three, four, and five. And that's going to be our pattern. I know we only did four here and then a double crochet. But we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, and then a double crochet. So you're going to go into the one right below it. And this is your front loop of that row. Pull it through. There you go. Make sure that you don't go into the back stitch right behind it because you want to make sure that you skipped one. And we're going to go into the next one and we're going to do five. And if it helps you to unzip yours, you certain your uh, project and it makes it easier for you to crochet, you certainly can do that. This is number five. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to do a double crochet and we're going to go to the loop below. And then we're going to do five. Make sure you don't go into that one right behind it because then you will be increasing. And we're going to do five. So five single crochets and then a double crochet and you're going to go into the loop down below and just keep doing that all the way around. And I will see you when you get all the way around and you come back here. So I'm coming to the end and I just counted to see if I was going to have enough stitches to be perfecto um, because I wanted it to be uh, when it goes around the curve, I want it to be correct. So one, two, three, four, and then there's going to be five. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to need a couple of extra stitches, I believe. So I'm going to go back here so that I can make it work. I am going to crochet in behind this double crochet. So I am increasing by one. You're not going to be able to see it in the work. That's two, three, four, five. And if you need it to decrease, you could just skip one. So see, you can't tell the difference. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to yarn over and go down below. We'll see if I did it correctly. Because I could have did it wrong. One, two, three, four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip that one. One, two, three, four, five. So I did do it correctly. So I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And remember, we're not going to go into the last one of the color from the previous round because that's how we're doing it. And we are going to change colors. So we're not going to go into this one, but we're going to go into this one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we're going to go in here. It's not that tight. I should be able to get in there. And I am going to use my other color. Make sure I'm not getting a mess going here. So I'm going to grab it and pull it through. And I am going to pull that a little tight. Let's see 
here. One, two, three, four, five. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go below uh, to my next stitch. Let's see here. Yes. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to go in, in this one right here. It's a little tight, so I'm going to go in. There we go. Grab my yarn. And there is my double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to do my five single crochets because that is the pattern. One, two, three, four, five. And your fifth one should always end above your double crochet because here's our pattern. Well, we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the one below. Okay. So you can see the pattern is going to go like that. So every time you have a double crochet, that should be your fifth single, and then you're going to do a double crochet. So let's do five. One, two, three, four, five. And that fifth one ended above the double crochet. And now we're going to do a double crochet and go down into that front loop below. And then we're going to do five double crochets. Oops, sorry. There we go. So fifth uh, single crochet above there and the next one is always your double crochet. Five single crochets. Yeah, I watched Tina's uh, one, two, three, four, five video over and over just because I, I think she's very charming and uh, she makes me feel good. And I love to watch her crochet. And when I listen and watch, I feel like I learn a lot. So I hope that you're getting something from mine. I hope I'm having the same effect on you. I really appreciate anyone who watches and subscribes. I love doing this love crocheting and I just want to share it with somebody and um, I hope this is gonna start turning more too but I appreciate anyone who's watching right now I am looking forward to this bag I get really excited when I see something I want to try and this bag you could just do so many different things with this pattern with the zipper uh, Tina had a pillow you can make one of these as a pillow cover so that you could take it off and wash it, which is a great idea. And I really am in love with this mosaic. I did find it, whoops, one, two, three, four, five. And I did find the mosaic really hard until I started watching her and watched her videos over and over so that I could learn how to do this. Uh, I'm getting to the point where I feel like I can make my own patterns or my own designs. I don't write anything down. I just go and do it so once you start doing the mosaic it's just a little bit addicting and I really like the thought of making myself clothes I made myself a sweater with this and I didn't have a pattern I just did it by how I thought it and it came out really good One, two, three four five so I think you see the pattern now so uh, just keep going and I will see you over here at the other end. I'm here at the end. So you can see that uh, your pattern is going. You have your double crochet, double crochet, five, and your fifth one always ends above your double crochet and then you're going to do a double crochet in your next one. Here at the end, I did my double crochet. I have one, two, three, four, five, and then I do have uh, the one purple one, which is the slip stitch. Oh, so, 
it looks like it is in this color. I don't want to have it in another purple one, two, three, four, five. So let's go ahead and yarn over and one, two, three, four, five. Let's do it in front of this one here. We've got to watch this end for these double crochets, okay? So we are going to skip that purple. We'll go ahead and go into this one and do a, whoops, do a slip stitch with our new color. I gotta pay attention here. It can be a little, a little tricky sometimes. And then I'm gonna chain one. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're, so when we come back, we're gonna not, we're gonna skip this slip stitch here. So we're gonna go ahead and do our five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. So my fifth stitch ended over the double crochet. So now I'm going to do a, a, I mean, a, yeah, the double crochet. And so I'm going to go down below and I'm going to do a double crochet. I'm going to pull it up a little bit and I like to hold it right here when I'm doing my double crochet because I don't want it to be pulled up too high. And then you can always count from here, one, two, three, four, five. Also, if you want to make sure that you're going into the correct stitch to do your single crochets because your fifth one always needs to end above your double crochet. One, two, three, four, and your fifth one. So that's two, three, and just keep going. I'm here at the end, and here again we go. Um, I have my fifth single crochet over my double crochet. So I'm gonna head, gonna go ahead and yarn over and go into this one right here, right next to it. And then do my double crochet and then I'm going to skip the one that we're supposed to be skipping back here uh, one two three four five and I'm going to go into this fifth one so I counted the fifth one from this double crochet because we want our fifth single crochet in there one two three four five oh I'm going to change my color grab my purple and bring it through. I'm going to tighten that up and I'm going to chain one. So I think I've showed you enough that you should be able to do this by yourself and I'm going to keep on working on mine and um, my zipper has two spots where it's a little bit funky but I'm not going to worry about that. I still think it's awesome and um, I think my next one, I don't think I'm going to get a zipper that's this long. Maybe one right here for a coin purse. But even, you know, my first one. So I'm not sure. I think it's just too tight here. Maybe I need to make them a little bit uh, larger further apart so that it doesn't gather. Anyway, I think I've showed you enough to, to uh, understand the pattern and keep on going, make it as long as you want, and I will see you when I get done with mine. So I crocheted rows, and I made it pretty long. I think my pattern came out really good uh, with that variegated yarn in the purple. Here's the other side, it looks the same. Uh, it is puckered in two spots with the zipper, which means that probably when I open and close it, I'm going to have to be really careful so it opens and closes correctly. But this is my first one. I am going to make another one, so I'm hoping it uh, comes out better. So it's just tight right here at these two spots. So when I went around, mine did not go as well as Tina's did because you can see here that I came to the end and I did my double crochet so it went this way but it didn't make my bag go the wrong way 
um, it just made my seam here. So that's okay. Um, I did watch her video again. <laughs> so I know what I did wrong. Um, but I'm happy, even if I just kept doing it like this, I would be okay with it. But I'm happy with the color. I'm happy with it overall. I'm going to uh, do another one. And I think when I do, I'm gonna use a smaller uh, zipper. This zipper may not look very big, but it is the 10 inch, so it's pretty big. I think I'm gonna get a smaller one and make a couple of small, uh, small uh, coin purses. So, but where it puckers, it is um, a little tight and hard to zip. So I am going to go ahead and finish mine off at the bottom. Maybe I can get this zipper closed now. There we go. My two little puckers. So I'm going to grab my hook. And uh, you can see here where I ended with a double crochet. I'm going to pick up my purple. Now I'm going to do two uh, rounds of the single crochet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, slip stitch one, two, three, four, five, which is what I've been doing ever since I started going around. I'm going to slip stitch, pull it tight. So since I don't need this purple anymore, or my variegated yarn, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. There we go. Cut it off. I'm going to go ahead and tie it right here to my purple. And I'm going to bury it as I go. So I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go ahead and start doing my single crochet. And I'm going to do it all the way around. So I'm going to go all the way around once. And then I'll go all the way around it again. And then I'll be ready to tie it together. So I'm going to go around twice doing my single crochet in the back loops only. And I decided to use the purple to do that just because it's darker and this is the bottom. I haven't decided what I'm going to use this bag for yet. It's really pretty. I like the design. I think the color really came out really good. I'm going to have to really work on the zipper part on my next one. So I'm happy with it. It's my first one. My stuff doesn't always come out perfect. I always try really hard, but sometimes, um, you know, practice makes perfect. But I'm still happy with it. You got to be happy with the stuff that you make. Pretty proud of myself. And um, I'm always proud of myself for trying. And I love lots of color. So I really like these colors together. So I will meet you uh, back here after you go around this time and then go around one more time, okay? I'm here at the end of that first uh, single crochet round all the way and I just wanted you to see that I was skipping this uh, first purple one slip stitch and I was just going to go into the next one slip stitch and I'm going to chain one and then I'll just continue to go all the way around um, single stitch again and after I get done going all the way around then I'm going to turn it inside out so that I can sew it together so I will see you back here once you go all the way around okay so um, I went around and I tied my knot I slip stitched and tied a knot I'm going to go ahead and end, cut off and you can see it's really pretty. So I'm going to put it inside out and I'm going to do a slip knot. I'm going to put, put it on my and I'm going to go ahead and sew this together on the bottom.
Okay. On the other side here, you can see where I did my edge. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to start here. I laid it down flat. I'm pretty confident that this is going to come out just fine. I'm going to do this outside loop. And I'm going to go across and do this one. So you can see that I'm doing the outside loops on each side. And I'm just going to do a slip stitch. So outside, outside, slip stitch. And I'm just going to keep going all the way down and then I'm going to tie it off. Kind of excited to see what the bottom of this will look like when it's totally done. And uh, it's a nice size little purse. I could uh, put a lot in it. So I just keep going all the way down to the end. So I went to the end. I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot here. I'm going to tie two because I want to make sure that it's nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and bury it here. Let's go in a few times. Definitely don't want to stick my hand in the bottom of my purse and fill that. Maybe I'll make it a makeup bag. Okay. And then I have my other end here. I'm just weaving in and out. just turned around and doubled back a little bit okay so we have that all done and we are going to turn it inside out oh maybe I should have left my zipper open that probably would have been a good idea huh Alrighty, so note to self, make sure you unzip the bag before you sew the bottom. So, it wasn't too bad to get that open. Um, but you can see my bottom looks really good. Pretty happy with it. And my bag is ready for use. And I really like it. So, I hope that you have uh, good success. Please uh, check out Tina. Uh, and she can show you how to do the bag her way and it won't go off to the side like mine did and i'm going to try another one and hopefully i won't get uh, these two puckers i'm going to get a smaller zipper and um i might go ahead and do a tutorial when i do that one and uh i think the hardest part of this bag is not getting little puffs on your uh zipper i'm hoping that maybe when i use it for a while or once i wash it maybe it'll ease it up so that these aren't so tight but that's my bag i love the colors i love using uh, the variegated yarn in one solid color thank you very much for watching please give me a thumbs up and subscribe have a great day and stay safe thank you bye